What's up you guys, my name is Quincy Gardner and today I wanted to show you guys Logic Pro X. Uh, I know a lot of people out there uh, do their own films, maybe either you serve as DP or you direct and write your own films, but uh, number one thing that people are always worried about after the fact is music for the film and I say it really really brings the film to life and so I wanted to show you guys the software that I use and I wanted to show you guys how to use it. This is brief because I'm actually not really going to put any work into the trailer. It's actually a fake trailer for another one of my tutorials on uh, rotoscoping. It's an example that I used. Um, and so, yeah, I, I figured that I might as well just show you guys the interface since I'm going to do it anyways. You know, kind of wasted my time because people are going to say, hey, you know, what about sound and stuff? So, uh, first thing, f first things first is this is Logic Pro X. And so, uh, right here, this is your timeline, uh, just like in an editing software. Here, right here, is my instruments. If you want to add new instruments, you just click on the plus sign, and you know you can create more instruments. Uh, this, what you see right here, is actually uh, you know your keyboard, and you just press keys on your keyboard to make sounds. Um, and also, uh, since this isn't the full keyboard, uh, what what it does is it, it breaks them up into different sections. And uh, to hit higher notes, you can just adjust the octave uh, by Z and X or just click on it. And so, see, there you go. And uh, also your velocity, uh, lower that. And back up. So yeah, there it is. And uh, over here to the left though, is just your, you know, your vast library of uh, sounds that you know Logic Pro X comes with and um, yeah, just just a vast amount of sounds and so I really really love this software but uh, we're gonna get right into it not gonna waste any time uh, to bring a movie in um, this is usually how I do it and you go to file go to movie hold on yeah file why is this not doing it all right file move there we go open movie and uh, we're gonna go to desktop and uh, where's our file? There we go. Trailer Tut One. And so we're gonna. It's gonna say movie contains an audio track. We're gonna extract the audio track. We want to hear it. And so um, yeah, it's bringing in our our uh, our footage. And so you just have to shrink it down, and then you know put it right here in the corner. And so let me adjust my mic. Sorry about that. All right. So we have our film right here, or our trailer. I'm sorry. And so we're just gonna add a simple sound. And so. I already know that I'm probably gonna go with the or orchestral strings and so orchestral strings and I'm gonna use the cinema strings and obviously the velocity all right and so uh, to begin re actually recording you just click on this red button up top and it'll start playing through the clip and you can just record as you go in a critical condition after a severe beating this small city which She's going to kill every single one of us. Alright, so I just wanted to get that low note in. Um, Hospitalized in a critical condition after a severe... I don't really like that, though. But, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If you're, you know, you just, I, I like to play around with sounds, and so, you know, I didn't like that, for example. So, you know, you just click on it, and you can press delete, and it goes away, and you can just start over. Another thing I like to do, I just like to press the play button and, you know, just click on the keyboard and play with the stuff. Beating, this small city which She's going to kill every single one of us. Okay, so... She's gonna kill. Alright, and so um, I'm just playing around with that. And so um, down here, uh, as soon as you double click on that, these are your notes right here, and it gives you an option to edit your notes. And so I want to extend this to like to play right when it comes on, but I want it to fade in, uh, sort of like you do with video. And so uh, with Logic Pro X, um, the way you do that, um, it has an automation tool up here. This icon right here will say show it high automation. And so you just click that and it brings it up. And so 
uh, it's already on audio and so <clears throat> when you click on the line it's already automatically going to give you a line like that and so you just click your keyframes in we're just going to crank this down and then let's see harsh all right let's try that critical condition after hospitalized in a critical condition after a sub actually i'm going to bring it down overall i just think it's too overbearing hospitalized in a critical condition after a severe beating this small city which builds itself as one all right and then from there i just want to fade i'm oh, sorry uh, fade right back out Okay. Hospitalized in a critical condition after a severe beating, this small city which builds itself as one of the She's gonna kill every single one of us. Okay, okay, yeah, that's short and sweet. Uh, so I would look over it again. Um, uh, what I like to do when I'm using it, I'm just constantly I'm previewing, previewing, previewing. But uh, yeah, I mean, just for tutorial's sake, we can play around with some other stuff, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna just leave it at that, though. So for tutorial's sake, we'll play around with some other stuff. So I'm just gonna for to, to mute out a clip, just click on M, and now we can't hear that clip. So yeah, let's play around with some other uh, some other stuff. Um, I like to play with the orchestral strings. Um, I really like them. So let's see how the modern string sounds like. Actually like that a little bit better. Okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna try that then. <laughs> Hospitalized in a critical condition after a severe beating. This small city which She's gonna kill every single one of us. All right. So um, we want to fade it in once more. This small city which builds itself as one. Mm, hold on. Uh, bring in a little late. For beating this small city which builds itself as one. She's gonna kill every single one of us. For beating this small city. Doom doom. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. All right, so yeah, so we want to fade this in right here, and so. Uh, just click on that to activate uh, the automation tool and we're just gonna crank it down to let's say 20 and see how that sounds beating this small city which she's gonna kill every single one of us beating and then we'll fade it out right there for beating this small city which She's going to kill every single one of us. Alright you guys, well that's Logic Pro X. I uh, hope you guys found this tutorial somewhat helpful. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.